Hi Aries, this is going to be your reading for the 7th until the 13th of October. Check your moon, Venus and rising if these messages don't resonate with you. Or if you'd like more insight on your week. Also, the competition is still going on to win either the Arcanum deck or the Gilded Tarot. Comment to let me know that you'd like to enter and what deck you'd like to win. Okay. By doing that, you've automatically entered the competition. Okay, so what messages do we have for Aries? 7th to the 13th of October. Ooh. So maybe reaping the benefits of some type of work could be in your work life financially. Okay, messages for Aries. Ten of Wands as your overall energy. Something to do with a burden. Could be feeling burdened by a person. All right, so you're wanting a commitment. You wanting to. Some of you wanting to settle down. Some of you wanting to be with someone you can finally trust. Finally, have something long term with and stop, you know, so you want to come out of dating, the dating um, scene, those of you who are, who are not married, obviously, want to come off the dating scene, want to just find that one person, uh, how you feel about someone who you have in mind is the death card, so some of you are kind of done with somebody you previously had feelings for, or maybe still have a little bit of feelings for, <clears throat> but you are you could be going through a transformation period in your love life could be that you you will be meeting people who you can trust it may be a shock to you because you're used to some of you are used to you know being betrayed you may it may have a turnaround in your love life okay how you see your partner is the Six of Swords, so they could be leaving. They could have moved on to someone else. They could... They could have ghosted you or, you know, left you out in the cold. But it does seem like... If, you, if your partner has left, it is... It could be the reason for this rebirth. You could also have Scorpio on your chart or could be dealing with a Scorpio. But... For some of you, this an ending has caused you to, you know, transform yourself, like really look into yourself and focus on you and where you're going in life. Could be the reason for the Ten of, of Wands, you know, releasing a burden, finally being able to focus on yourself. Obviously, that's not for everyone, this is general. But let's see what's going on over here. So, it does seem like somebody has cut you off. Some of you have been cut off by someone with the King of, of Swords. It could be that this person wants to detach from you. They want to detach. Maybe they still have feelings and they're trying to detach for whatever reason. I don't know. Maybe they fear commitment. Three of, of Pentacles is how they feel. For some of you, this person, it could be a third party or it could be that they wanted to work on things, but maybe they didn't see where it could go. It could be vice versa. How they see you is the Knight of Swords. So it could be that you, are, you, you could have been very sharp with them, very honest 
brutally honest. You could have stood up for yourself on something. It could be that you were, you some of you are very harsh to this person and they cut you off. Maybe you just let loose and just went off on them. Doesn't mean it's a bad thing. Maybe you were standing up for something you weren't put in, putting up with. Maybe a third party you weren't putting up with. However, I feel like because this person still has feelings, remember that they, they're wanting to, to detach. It doesn't mean they are detached, they're wanting to. There is, there could be a new start with the two of you, or this could just mean that the relationship, that the situation is new, like some of you are just dating this person and, and things ended. But for some of you, there could be a new start with this person, with an ace of the ace of wands, especially if they are also a fire sign or have fire in their chart. Four of wands, sorry, four of swords as your outcome. So like I said, some of you are, are kind of not happy, but wanting to go through this period of being single, transforming, or at least taking time away to focus on yourself, maybe getting right with your meditation, um, getting your mind right, thinking, just doing that inner work, some of you. I do feel that a lot, a lot of you are wanting this. So let's clarify. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for Aries? Some of you are wanting to get the financial, your financial situation straight. Some of you are seeing the ending of a, of a situation with a person as, you know, a good time to focus on, on the money, on finances, securing yourself. Okay. Okay. So your feelings may still be hanging around this person for this person. You could still have feelings deep down for this person, but it's like you wanting to you are wanting to transform. It could be that you're letting the, the pain transform you. Some of you may feel really bad, by the way. With the death card and the hangman, it could be... For some of you, it could be... Should I just say it? Suicidal thoughts for a small amount of you. But not a lot of you. I do feel like it's a it's a painful situation though. Could have you uh, wallowing in the feelings of the end of the situation. But your outcome, it's not like a it's not like a oh my god, they're coming back in. It's more like for most of you it's more like you're gonna learn so much and grow so much from this. You're gonna be like, you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, but you're gonna be happy in the end. Regardless of the situation, you're gonna be, you're gonna grow, mature, and. Okay. The ending could have been. Ending could have been what the hell? <laughs> All of them have flipped. It didn't have to be sudden, maybe it happened slowly, or maybe they're still slowly exiting your life. But it wasn't like a shocking end for some of you. Some of you could have been with the Knight of Swords, them seeing you as a Knight of Swords and King of Swords, you know. Why is the King of Swords here for Aries?
Nein, auf Kopf. So they are fighting between <clears throat> wanting to work things out with you, wanting to offer you their love again, and wanting to detach. Especially if you're doing it with a man, they're playing the tough guy. Deep down, they want to offer you their, their love and their, you know, their apologies. But on the surface, they're trying to be the king of swords. See his face? I don't know if you can see. That's who, that's who he's trying to be. Or she. Playing the tough guy. But really, they still have feelings. They still have love to offer. <clears throat> Why is the three of pentacles here? Aries. Seems like they feel like they could have done more. They feel like they could have done more. They are aware of the pain they've caused you. They are aware that they've robbed you of your energy, your time, that they've, some of you may have had your time wasted by this person and they know this. Some of you could be dealing with a narcissist who may act like they wanna work, work on things, but they don't. I, I know from experience that the narcissists, they tend to pretend that they want to work things out. They play the nice guy. <clears throat> and only to, make, only to give you false hope to make you, false hope to make you think that things could work out and then they come and they just rub you of your energy all over again. So if you are dealing with a narcissist, be careful of that. Of course, not all of you are, but those of you who are, you should know by now, probably know by now. If not, look, look it up and see if you are. Okay, so why is the Knight of Swords here? Oops. They don't know what to think of you. If you came in harsh, maybe you would Maybe you're usually nice, of course, everyone has a good side and a bad side. Maybe you're usually nice and sweet and then you came in like a wrecking ball and like blew them away with some harsh communication or something like that and they don't know they don't know how to feel. They don't know if you're a, if you're a good person or a bad person now or if you're a nice person. They they're kind of confused. If you, if you did lash out on them, it has confused them as to, you know, who you really are <laughs> or they don't know who you are anymore. Why is the Ace of Wands here? That's a million dollar question. Is it a new beginning or is it just a new relationship? Why is the Ace of Wands here for Aries? Two of, let's go with those. It is a connection with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse here. But for some of you, it, some of you it's still, it's new. Because the Ten of Pentacles is about, you know, that stability, that long, like marriage, family, in the traditional right away, there's a, grandfather and family in it it shows a long a relationship that's been going on for long and will go on for long but here it's in reverse so some of you are definitely just dating this person just met this person others of you it could be an a separation in marriage or a divorce, but I don't feel like it's really divorce for a lot of you. It could be a small amount of you, but because there's a new start here, the possibility of a new start, I don't feel like it's a divorce. It could be a separation that could be sorted out, but for a lot of you, I do feel like you're just dating this person or just haven't known them for longer than a year, some of you. Right, with the four of swords in the outcome. Let's verify your outcome. Where's the 
Four of Swords here for Aries and their outcome. Oh, Four of Swords in reverse. Okay. I do see a storyline here. You're moving forward. But this person, if they've blocked you, they're going to unblock you and interrupt your your serenity, your your little your plans to to focus on yourself. They may interrupt them by unblocking you or coming back around the Queen of Swords in reverse. And so it may take you out of this, you know, this self-development period. You may be distracted is what, is what I'm trying to say. But... Hmm. It could be that... It could be that you ignore them, though. Some of you may ignore this, you know, unblocking or wanting to come back around just to focus on yourself, which is good, but some of you may be interrupted by them and may believe them, take them back. I don't know if, if when they come back, they're going to be for real. Can't really say that for everyone, just so judgment. So that means if they, with judgment, if they do come back around, it's, it's, um, it's for a reason secrets could come out they could they could have better intentions when they come back around secrets could come out like they could tell the truth could be honest with you for some of you i feel like you're ignoring them when they come back you're focusing on yourself some of you are not some of you are taking uh taking the offer whatever it is though with judgment that i just saw in the deck it's a part of the, the plan. It's a part of your, your growth, your learning process. Maybe you need to learn to not forgive um, too easily. And some of you may have already learned that and ignore this person and focus on yourself. You know, it's all about lessons and learning when you're dealing with people and relationships before you get to that that stable relationship you have to learn so much all right let's see what advice we have my aries videos are always long Capture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Finance and career, what did I tell you? Some of you are uh, focusing on money. Some of you are seeing an ending as an opportunity to focus on money. This could be also affecting, it could have been what affected the relationship also for some of you. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So this is saying that you guys should go for it. It's saying both. It's saying focus on your your career and finance that you have up here that you want to do. And then it has, you know, take this person back basically. Express your love. Be playful. So I guess some of you can, you know, if you know how to do both at the same time, work on yourself and be nice to this person because you were not nice before. So maybe this is this could be giving you advice as to how to mend things with this person, just to be playful rather than to be harsh. Some of you may be able to juggle the two. Focusing on yourself and um, 
maintaining a healthy relationship with this person. Okay, but you will be unblocked with the Queen of Swords in reverse. Some of you will be interrupted by, by this person. You may be focusing on your life and then this person comes back around all of a sudden. But, yeah, just stay optimistic about your love life. I was going to say keep an open mind. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So, yeah, some of you can juggle the two. All right. Peace, there is no need to worry. As everything is working out beautifully. Purification, it is time for a cleansing, detoxification of your mind and body. Boundaries, love yourself. Enough to say no to others. Demands on your time and energy and fertility. It is the perfect time for you to start a new project. To start new projects, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. Some of you are balancing work and love. Okay, but I would say put the work first, put your finances first, because this person will come around naturally. They still have feelings that they're trying to hide. So if you focus on your work, they'll come back around naturally, they'll just bounce back around. So you're focusing on what you need to focus on, and then, you know, your little fun, your little... person you're dating or in a relationship with, they'll come back around naturally, easily, you know, effortlessly if you just focus on what you cannot ignore, which is your life, your money, your work. This person will come, come back around easily, okay? Just be careful of the narcissist. I do feel like those of you who are dealing with narcissists know that. Um, some of you may not know yet. You may want to Google and see if the signs match, just in case. But a lot of you, of course, are not dealing with narcissists. You're just dealing with someone who is aware of the pain they've caused you. They could be coming back with an apology. But just detach, okay? Um, let go. Let go and they'll come back effortlessly. Doesn't have to be within this week. This is just a heads up. But you're releasing this burden so that you can focus on work right now. And the love life will flow naturally, okay? So Aries, that was your reading for the week. It was very long for a week reading, but it was good. Okay, I hope you enjoyed and Remember to enter the competition, you just need to comment, um, like this video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and let me know if you'd like, comment and let me know if you'd like to win the Arcanum or the Gilded Tarot, okay? Check your moon, Venus, and rising if these messages didn't resonate with you or if you'd like more insight on your week, and thank you for watching.